Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Chance, and so I take it that you're wanting to learn how to rope. Well, you're definitely at the right place. Before we get started, I just want to say, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure and hit that red subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when we post other videos just like this, and I sure would appreciate it. But let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to take it as your complete beginner, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to learn how to rope. And I, but I'm gonna try to be as fast as I can be to go through it all. So maybe if you already know some of this stuff, you, you'll stick around till stuff you don't know. So basically what we're gonna need first of all is a rope. Surely you got a rope, right? All right, now secondly, we're gonna need a dummy. Well, in your case, two dummies. <laughs> okay, now let's get for real. Okay, so let's take it let's just start from the beginning so let's just say your rope was completely down on the ground right here what you're going to do is you're going to take this strand by the tail right you're going to take it with your left hand and you're going to take this right hand and just start coiling it up just like that and you're going to place it into this left hand till we get all the way to the top get all the way to the top we slide that honda there we got the rope in our left hand right what you want to do is you want to take your right hand and grab this coil and this right here, just like I did. And you, and, and what you'll do is you're going to slide it down like that. And that's how you make the loop as big as you need to make it, right? And then when we get to this point, we say, hey, this is a good size that we want. What you're going to do is you're going to take this strand and come down just right there, right? You want to grab somewhere in between there depending on how big your loop is i would grab somewhere right in between there so we got this part in our right hand and we have these coils in our left hand now i'm more of a five coil person in this end one two three four five some people were four that's totally up to you and i'm gonna actually make this one a little bit smaller but that puts us right there so we've got our coils in this hand and then we have the actual loop in this hand Okay, so before we actually even get into the dummy part and throw it and all that kind of stuff, I want you to practice this because this is going to be the biggest part that I see is actual swinging the rope, right? What so many people do is they swing it incorrectly. And if you're not swinging it right, you're never going to have the correct feel and be able to throw it to actually your target. So what I want you to do is I'm going to do a few different angles. I'll even slow this down. And I want you just to watch my, hand, my swinging arm and hand. And so basically, if you've got the loop right here, just imagine the loop there, we're gonna come right here. Our wrist is gonna turn like this. So I want you to see this, when you're coming in this way, you're actually looking at the top of your hand. And then when you're coming out this way, you're actually seeing the bottom of your hand. And it's just that rotation. I see too many people trying to swing it like that or something when they're just starting to begin. But what you gotta see is you gotta see that roll of your wrist. That's gonna be key for anybody to start in a rope. I wanna show you from this angle. I'll show you also from this angle. I would work on doing that a bunch before you even start swinging the rope because you just want to get that muscle memory of this is actually how the swing's supposed to be. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually pick the rope up just like just like we had it and you're going to do that same thing just like what I showed you with your hand. And what I want you to see is when you have a rope, you'll really have to feel that that turnover that I'm talking about. So with a rope, you have to kind of exaggerate, especially if you're going really slow, but just watch me right here.
Okay. And then when you become a little more advanced, you'll what you'll see is you'll see a lot of people feed into it, like that right there. Basically, all you're doing is opening up your hand a little bit. But I wouldn't even start worried about that right now if you're just beginning. I would go ahead. So basically, by feeding in, you may have a loop like this, but then when somebody feeds in, you know, they just got a bigger loop. So starting out, I would just start out with the size loop you want with, that you're gonna throw at your target. All right, now here's where it gets really fun. We're gonna take that loop that we just started swinging and we're gonna throw it at our target. Now, basically, the best way I can explain this, when you're throwing the loop at your target, you've got to realize that you're taking this right here and, and, and I'm, we're doing a head run here. So we're putting it on the steer's head, right? If we're gonna take this loop and we're gonna throw it on that steer's head, we've got to throw it at his head, correct? But what I want you to think about is when the loop is coming at the steer's head, it's not coming so much flat as you think, it's more coming open like this as it comes to the head. So what I like to do is I like to swing it and I like to throw my hand straight to the back of the steer's head. And the loop's gonna be coming in like that, and it's gonna hit that steer's head, and then the coil come around and all that. So, once you have the swinging down, understand this may take you some time just to get the swinging down. Know that, understand that it ain't gonna happen overnight. But I promise you that you wanna have that correct swing like I taught you, instead of just doing what I see so many people doing, like this right here. You wanna learn that roll, that roll of the wrist, looking at the top of your hand when it's coming right here. But then when you do get ready to throw, we're just gonna let go of the loop. And we're gonna, it's almost like we're just throwing that loop at the back of the steer's head. Watch, watch right here. We're swinging. I'm gonna do another and we'll do this one in, in slow motion. Okay, that brings me to another point that I want to talk about. When you are swinging, when you're swinging your loop, what I like to do is I like to have my loop visually right over the top of the steer's horn. So when I'm swinging, I want my loop to kind of be going right over the top of those horns. So when I throw at the back of that head, it's just going directly on top of those horns. All right, guys, so this has been our first video to our How to Rope series, and I'm gonna continue to add more videos. So what you may wanna do is go to the channel and check out and see if I've added anything since watching this video. Uh, this was more for heading. We'll get into more of a healing and just different aspects of learning how to rope. But those are the basics that you need to get started. And if you, if you like this video, would you hit that like button and leave us a comment if you'd like to know something else, and I'd love to be able to answer your questions. Also, check out the clothing line, riderclothingcompany.com. We got caps, sunglasses, shirts, all kind of stuff. If you're going rope, you need some rider gear, right? And so check that out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys soon.